Hi everyone, today we are releasing video bolt author tools. Author tools is a After Effects extension that helps you create uh, templates more efficiently, faster and in general better. So this is how you're going to install it. So first go to zxpinstaller.com and download it either for Windows or for Mac OS. So once you download it, you can run the installer, go next, next, next and simple as that so I'm not going to install it because I already have it then once you have it installed run it and all you have to do is simply drag in author tool ZXP here and it's going to install it automatically again I'm not going to do it because I have it installed so once you go into After Effects the way you open it is you go to window extensions video bolt author tools and it's a dockable extension that you can place anywhere you like so I'm going to put it here and okay so what it actually is so we realized that while creating uh, what 800 templates on our website there was a lot of things we could automate and uh, there is a lot of stuff we need to do before we approve your project and we are simply going to be adding a lot of tools here to help you uh, create more templates so let's go um, the first thing that we have here is a uh, text placeholder in one of the templates and we are going to use a couple of tools to adjust it for video bolt so we don't have to spend uh, hours and hours reviewing templates. Okay, so let's say we have a text area here or a paragraph text and you want to center it. Uh, what happens on our website is users usually paste entire books into the placeholders and it can go off screen and it's just bad. So we need to figure out a way how to fit the text inside of these two, uh, in, inside this box. So first thing first, we need to convert this text area into a point text. Uh, text area has a lot of problems and we are not using it on our website. So all you have to do is right click on the text area and say uh, convert to, sorry, convert to point text. And now it's no longer a text area. So now we're going to use the first tool in, under video bolt text tab called fit and align. So when you click one of the expressions here or scripts, you have a name, description, and then the entire code of the tool. So um, I'm going to select the text and click run. Uh, a little window pops up that asks me where do I want to align the text. So I want to move my anchor point to the center of the text and I click apply. I can close this now. So now we have a VB text fit and align effect right here. So first I'm going to center this text inside of this box, which is basically the half of the column. So now if you submit a template like this and people can type a long text, we want to make it fit inside of this. So all you have to do is select the layer and say max width and set it to whatever this width of the comp is. So if I type here 50%, uh, 50% is, uh, the size of this box is actually 50% of the entire comp. So now the text is going to actually fit inside of this. But now if I keep pressing enter, you can see it actually also uh, aligns the text vertically. But it doesn't fit inside of this. So we can also fit this by simply saying 50% of this. And now, whatever a user types on our website, two lines of text, three, four, five, six, it's going to work. And if they paste an entire book, it's, <laughs> it's gonna fit. So this is something that we're going to, this is something that we have to have in all the templates. So from now on, you will have to do this for every text placeholder that you submit. Okay, so next example is a fit and line but without text area, which is basically the same thing. You don't have to convert it to anything. You can simply select fit and align, run, and then click apply. That's it. Okay, next it fit and align justify. So if the text is in the bottom left of your box, we want people to actually type more rows. So right now it's not going upwards and it needs to go there. So the way we fix that is 
we select this anchor point bottom left because it's in the bottom left of the box so we click apply and now it's actually going to move the entire thing so you have to move it again and now it's going outside of the box again so let me just select the paragraph to the left uh, sorry here uh, bottom left okay so now if I type two lines of code of well, text it's going to go up which is exactly what we want so and you can also add the same thing for max width and max height so we can simply lower this until it fits and there there we go uh, nice so next thing is we have a stick text so if the user types two text here and then types two lines of text here it's looking really bad and they end up not buying it so the way we fix that is this is going to be our main text so we're going to apply fit and align and then choose bottom left and right now just like before it's going up it's exactly what you want but the author tool is not following it so we have another tool for this called stick stick text we select it select text and click run now we can under stick say bottom left the same as the other one and then for the parent we're going to use the video bolt text and immediately it goes below him because they set it to bottom left but it needs to be top left if you want some kind of margin you can simply add it right here minus 10. and right now if we type one line two line it's moving it and it's exactly what we want and then if we type something here here two lines it's all connected perfectly okay so even if you want to add some more text on, on the right of this text you can go here and create text and say right we can select it and say stick we're going to parent it to the one from before and you can say uh, right center and that's a margin and then if I type here video bolt then here dot net That it's all realigning perfectly and it's not a pain in the ass to actually edit a template on a website. So the last thing we have here, uh, usually when authors submit a template, they place the image like something like this or like this, and there is a huge overflow happening and we can't have this. So you need to render out a frame of your placeholder that's exactly the size of the comp. So we created a tool for that it's called placeholderize under general. You simply select it and click run. It's going to render out the frame and re-import it. And as you can see, there is no any overflow and it's right here. And we also disabled the previous one, but you can come here and then simply delete it. So we have a couple of interesting uh, tools here, but I focused on mainly a couple of these because they are extremely important for templates you're submitting and if you follow these rules we are going to be approving the templates much much faster so uh, usually Squiffy and I had to manually adjust all of the placeholders and that was taking a lot of time so hopefully with this it should be much faster so another cool thing with this is that whenever Squiffy or I create some kind of tool uh, all you have to do is reopen the extension and it's automatically going to download it and it's going to appear somewhere here and we're going to be adding many more categories so we also have a couple of uh, tools here for creating music visualizers but this is for beta of beta testers for visualizers only but you can also come here and see what they do exactly but we will be uploading an entire section of music visualizers here so you can actually start creating music visualizers okay that's it. Bye.